Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script a You Met The Creator badge on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll see, if we're in the game with the creator, it'll award us the badge. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually create our badge. Now, you can do this in a multitude of ways, but the way I like to do it is do it under this Game Explorer right here. You'll see we have this badges icon. All you're going to want to do is right click on it, and then you're going to click on that Create Badge button. Um, and I'm not going to go through it right now because it costs 100 Robux to create a badge. But if you'd like to, just make sure you do it through this Explorer or through another way. But all you want to have in the end is the badge ID because that's what we're going to use in our script to make sure that the right player gets the right badge. So create the badge, grab the ID, and then come back to the video and then we can actually get into coding this. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to create a new script under Service Script Service. And I'm just going to name it Met the Creator, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and the first line in here is we want to get a reference to our badge service. The badge service is used for a bunch of things regarding badges. We can give players badges, we can take badges away from players, we can check if a player has a badge, anything regarding badges or that has to do with a game badge, you want to do it with badge service. So let's get a reference to that by just saying local badge service equals game colon get service, badge service. And then I also want to set up two more variables, the badge ID and the creator name. So let's say local badge ID, and then we want to set this to whatever badge we just created. So our meet the creator badge, in my case, uh, my badge ID I created is this one right here, but you just want to paste in those numbers that you copied in earlier, uh, just so it knows exactly what badge we're going to use. And then we also want to set up a variable called creator name. And all this is going to mean is going to be a string and we're going to pass in the name of the creator of the game. So in this case, I want players to get awarded this badge if I'm in the game because I'm the creator. But maybe if your name was Josh, you'd put Josh here. Or if your username was, I don't know, orange dude is fake or something like that. Whatever your name is on Roblox, you just want to put that in here, whatever the creator name is, just so that Roblox knows exactly who to give the badge to. Um, and after this, that's all the variables we have to set up. Now we can actually get into hooking into our first event, which is the player added event. Um, so all this is going to do is we just want to get when a player joins the game, and then we're going to run some code inside of there. Um, so I'm going to hook into the player added event just by saying game.players.playerAdded, connect it up to a function. So now what we're going to do is our first if statement. Um, and all this is going to do is check to see if the creator is in the game. So maybe I join the game and I'm one of my friends, let's say I'm George, and the creator of the game is Wyatt. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see, so George joined the game, we want to see is Wyatt in the game. And the way we're going to do that is with an if statement, and we're going to say if game.players colon find first child, so if the game.players, if there's a child underneath of game.players named creator name, which we specify it up here, then we can run some code inside of here. So all this is saying we're only going to get to line 8 if the creator of the game is currently in the game. And then if they are, what we want to do is we want to loop through all the players in the game. And if they don't already own this badge, we want to give it to them. So we already know at this point that they should have the badge. We just want to make sure that they actually get it. Um, so the first thing, I want to get all of the players in the game so that we can loop through them. So I'm going to say local players equals game.players colon get players we'll call the get players method of players um, and now we can loop through them with the for loop so I'm gonna say for I equals one our index um, and then so for each player in number of players do so this is saying for each player there is maybe if there are 25 players it's gonna run through this 25 times and we want to get the current player that we're iterating on so equals players I. So maybe we're on the first player over here. Maybe it's orange shoot 4221. So we'd get orange shoot 4221. Second one's Bob, George, etc. That just puts all the players in this local player variable so that we can manipulate it and we can do different actions to that player. Um, now what we want to do is we want to check if the player doesn't own the badge. So if they do own the badge already, if they already own the Meta Creator badge, we don't want to do anything because they already own it. Why would we give it to them if they own it? What we want to do is we want to say if they don't own the badge, then we want to award them the badge. So we're going to say if, and the keyword here is not. So if they do not, and then we're going to say badge service colon user has badge async. 
So if the player has the badge, or in this case if they don't have the badge, and we have two arguments that we need to pass into this, we need to pass in the user ID of the player, so the current player that we're iterating on, their user ID, and we also want to pass in the badge ID, so whatever our badge ID is right up here. Um, so if they do not own that badge, then what we're going to do is we want to give them the badge. So we're going to call the award badge method of badge service. So we'll say badge service, call an award badge, and we're going to pass in the player.user ID along with the badge ID. And that's all we have to do, and we'll just go through it again. So whenever the player joins the game, it checks to see if the creator is in the game, and if they are, then we loop through all the players, we check if the player doesn't own the badge, and if they don't, then we give them the badge. And that's all we have to do. We can go in, we can test it out, and I think I already own the badge, so it might not even give it to me. Let's see. Yeah, I already own it, but if we were to go in and it was another player that doesn't own the badge already, we'd give them the badge. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I have the Pacemin link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.